What? You wanna act like you're the baddest? No way. Huh? I bet you something you we ain't never had this. Something so cool, something so smooth. Go down your throat like a juicy juice. So cold that it froze your tooth. Now David's gonna share this morning uh, from, from God's word to us. And uh, you know David, uh, when I first met them, they, they were coming to Elevation. And uh, back when we first started over at Skyway on Sunday nights, and uh, you know they were boyfriend and girlfriend at that point in time and uh, then they went through some things but then they got married how long has it been now two years in my backyard these guys got married and we did we built the platform over the pool and they got married over the they got married in, over the pool over the sauna or the spa or whatever right there and it was just awesome and uh, I just I am I'm encouraged by you guys and you guys' lives and I want you to know from my heart, from the heart of this church, if you guys all agree with me, that this couple and their family has been consistently a blessing to this body. Who would agree with that? Say amen. These guys have been consistent, consistent, awesome blessing to us. And not only that, but just the friendship. Now, what I want to say about, about them is that David's got an, uh, a calling on his life uh, and, a, and a deep calling on his life. Uh, of an evangelist and he's also a, a recording artist he's written how many albums have you done now two and and the thing is that he's, he's done these albums on his own in studios that that he has built and created and he's out there at different times he's been out there every weekend friday night saturday night in different places around the, the inner city and wherever just singing singing christian hip-hop and christian rap just preaching the word and, uh, and giving of himself and giving of his heart. And uh, you guys have, this man's an evangelist. And what that means is, is a person who, who is always thinking about bringing Jesus Christ and pointing someone to Jesus Christ. And now that you guys are, are one, it's not just David that's an evangelist, it's David and Crystal that are a team. Amen? And, uh, and so I just, I just wanna thank you guys. Um, for how much that you've meant to me personally and my family and also how much you've meant to this body and this community in this community and uh, you know David and Crystal we had uh, we had youth leaders that just moved to, to Tennessee to go be with their family David and Crystal they're you know I'm, I'm working with them and training them to be uh, take over the fifth through eighth grade class and they're doing some things with the youth group throughout the month so you know what you guys uh, it's it's a big deal what you guys are doing. It's a big deal what you guys are doing, but we're doing it together, and you're not alone. But I'd like us, you know, at the end of this time, I want to pray for David and Crystal and all that they're all that they're doing, and not only here in the body but in this community. But uh, let's just pray before you bring us bring us some word here today. Lord, I just want to thank you, Father God, for for just the uh, the gifts of the Spirit, God in operation in different people. Lord, I thank you, Father God, that in, in one body, Lord God, that you give the, the gift of pastors and teachers and prophets and apostles and evangelists, Lord God. And, and Lord, I, I recognize that in David, Lord, that you, his heart is always turned towards others, God. His heart is always turned towards the, the weak and towards the lost and towards the poor, God, and, and towards those that the Sometimes even the Christians just look over and, 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 and don't don't pay attention to it. turn the other way, Lord God, but not not this man of God. Not this woman of God. They're drawn, Father God, to, to the least of these. And uh, I thank you for it, Father God. I thank you for what, what he brings, you know, what, what they bring to to my life and to this church. And, uh, and so today, Father God, I just ask that you would just speak through you, Lord God, and just share. Just share from your heart, God, through my brother. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. All right, man. Look into my eyes. You'll see the fire. Look into my life. You'll see the desire of a young G that is struggling. But I will not stop. So follow me to Calvary, the mountaintop.